Hey folks, Jihondo here, and welcome back to Surviving Mars. This is episode 7. In the last episode, we put down this dome here, which as you recall is, you know, the next step towards getting over here to this lovely double science area. We're building a little water extractor here just to get rid of this pool. Uh, we don't actually want or need it, we just kind of want it gone. Obviously that all has to be done by Drone Commander. We don't have anywhere near enough electronics to actually build drone hubs, which is, of course these jerks here are taking all our stuff. Good times. <laughs> so let's get the commander. It looks like he's done this section. Move further on. I do have people coming down because we have just an absolute ton of open spots, open jobs. Like we just dreadfully need more people. So more people are coming. So that will be good. And the drone, um, the price war ended at some point after I sent our rocket back so we didn't actually get full value for our last shipment of rares but that's totally okay I don't mind and yeah that catches us right up to where we are oh I never put the ramp here that's Anomaly analyzed. not so good there we go yep there's the next tech so the prices have come down yet again I think it's about 3% a piece, so it's not, you know, individually a huge drop, but it certainly is helpful, and we might as well have it, right? we are waiting on metals to get here. Yeah. And actually, if you need machine parts, I may have to give you machine parts all along the chain, right? Otherwise, they have, there'll be nothing to migrate down there. Okay, now, hang on, let's be very clear on... Oh, I don't have 340 food anyway. I was going to say, that I would absolutely want to do this one. I don't have that much food. Yeah, I do have a lot stored in service buildings, but still not that much. And this may very well be the other way around, where they're trying to give me food to take away electronics, and that would be absolutely useless to me. I am completely out of machine parts. Okay, I think we're going to have to supply pod down some electronics and machine parts. How many more are you going to steal? Uh, basically, 15 mostly machine parts. Ugh. Ugh. That's terrible, but I think we're going to have to do it, because I definitely have to get some stuff down. We just, we're not getting anywhere. Dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Next rack of 12 people have arrived. They can go here, and then they can, well, they can go anywhere, but they'll probably mostly end up over here, I'm guessing. New okay, so they want to start here. And yes, they, well, not all of them, but quite a few of them I saw did run over here. Right, because you keep dropping the person that's supposed to work here. I don't know why you keep doing that, but you do that a lot. Because there's definitely people here. For sure. You seem to think it's more important to have all four working at the diner than to have anybody here at the farm. Don't understand it, but whatever. <laughs> Anomaly analyzed. There we go. I'm assuming that means you're now done. Yes, you are. So you can just come back here. So I know where you are. Actually, we have the yeah, we have the automated mode now. So let's just click that on, and then I don't have to worry about it. All our landing pads are currently busy. So thanks to these jerks. <laughs> We're going to helpfully steal basically all of the machine parts I just brought down. Or very close to. Jerks. Absolute jerks. Ooh, this concrete. This concrete extractor is full. Okay. There we go, those. We gather here today to bid a final farewell to one of our finest. Okay. So that's our first non-founder death, I guess. But anyway, these jerks have disappeared, so we should be getting a good pile of refund. There it is. Perfect. And we probably will end up having to turn it around and just supply pot it all right back down just to get some more machine parts and electronics again, but anyway, that's the idea. Oh, right, I was looking at you we need another concrete storage because apparently I don't have enough of those <laughs> so 
congratulations have even more concrete. Gosh, I hope somebody wants to sell me concrete for metal. <laughs> oh, that was a mess. What a mess. Looks like I probably need another fuel refinery, huh? Actually, that's probably good because I'm going to need those for this anyway. I'm going to need a lot of fuel. So yeah, let's get another fuel refinery going. And that also will help drain some of that water, so it'll, it'll work out very well in both scenarios. My current fuel refinery is down here. Yeah, right there. So let's just, for simplicity, put it nearby it. It's not necessary, I just like keeping things together so I know where stuff is. Or at least I have a slightly better chance of knowing where stuff is. So I'm assuming we have a fuel... Yeah, we have a fuel depot right near it, so it's a good spot for it. Or did I get on the polymer upgrades? Oh, I got most of them done already. There's an anomaly, and somewhere here there's a pile of metal, which I'm not seeing. Oh, there it is. There, right? Yes. Okay, little buddy. Go and get it, please. And bring it all the way back here. There we go. There's drone printing. Anomaly found. Get up close and personal with Mars, and you'll find it's anything but barren. We found another treasure in the form of a small deposit of a germanium-rich mineral. Huh, very nice. Over here, yep. Very cool, and it's a good one too. Uh, that's gonna be what? One, two, three, f at least four, probably five domes to get to it. So that one will probably end up being an isolated dome with a shuttle. Because <laughs> I can't see me building all the way to that. Not while I'm also trying to build over to this one. But anyway, yes, we definitely need more parts and electronics again. Craziness. And that completely and utterly breaks us. Nice. <laughs> I'll send one of these guys back. Probably you. Shortly. I was going to say, you should be done your section by now. You can move forward a bit. But actually, I guess on the way we can make sure we grab this. That'll help as well as a stopgap. I'm still mostly trying to get over here for these, of course, but I don't see any reason why one of the domes can't happen to grab this. That seems very helpful. So it's actually metals you're waiting on. Well, that's quite surprising. Absolutely no buildings are working. Why is that? Because I just still don't have enough people. Right. So yeah, I guess uh, you're heading back soon, one of you. It really doesn't matter which one. You've got a few more exports on you, so off you go. And again, this isn't for the money, though we desperately need it. It's just I need more people on the way, so. And it's not like I can purchase another rocket. Even if I could, I'm assuming they cost the same as that. So. Not a chance. <laughs> up to there. It's really hard to tell which portion of these have built. It's a little more obvious with the with the, the piping, but with the cable it's kind of hard for me to tell. In case I haven't mentioned it, I don't have very good vision. <laughs> that might be obvious by now. <laughs> Why did I never put a ramp across here? That's a very good question. I don't actually have an answer to. I guess because I put too much other stuff in the way and now I can't. That would be a good reason not to have. Yeah, I really, uh, really messed this section up, haven't I? Okay, well, I guess you don't get a ramp. You have to go around the long way. So be it. Probably waiting on metals to migrate down here, yep. And apparently, yeah, we are low on water. We kind of need this up and running here, guys. Which means I need some of those metals to migrate over here, please. And we have a decent number, so it shouldn't be a real difficult thing, but... Having said that, why did I never at least build this? I don't get what I was doing. <laughs> Funding received. 
Alright, we'll just put it over there then. I kind of have this cable bad spot apparently, but that's fine. The rocket's back. So let's get the next pile. Oh wow, there's like nobody left. Unless I'm willing to start taking more flaws. Alright, let's start looking at taking more flaws, I guess. What here can we live with? Oh, definitely not that. Well, I think our morale is not spectacular, but I don't think it's that bad. Our comforts are not going to be good, though, so I don't know if I can take a whiner. But I can definitely take some melancholics. And I guess I could take hypochondriacs as long as I put them in one of the domes that have infirmaries, which is most of them. So I guess that's fine. I just have to remember to do that. Glutton. I mean, maybe that's not bad. We're, we're pretty good for food, so... Okay, let's just try that. That certainly gave us a better pool. Did any of them happen to be geniuses, just out of pure luck? I'm guessing the answer is no, but... No, definitely not. Alright, that's fine. We'll just go with that. Yes, let's make sure that one of these domes that has an infirmary, so you're an option. And I think it was you? Yes, you also have an infirmary. So we'll put the hypochondriacs here. And that will be fine. Of course, you know, this took even more people out of here, but more people are coming, so it'll be fine. We oh, yeah, had dust repulsion, just less maintenance on the solar panels. That will be good. Because they are stealing our metals quite often. Wait, right, let's go ahead and just do a blanket one of these. I know I don't have enough polymers for all of them, but that should still queue them up so I don't have to remember to come do them. Because clearly power is an issue. Or at least it is during this thing's shift. Which is, unfortunately, a crazy amount of power. Yeah, you really don't want to let anybody down here, huh? Well, I mean, I have enough electronics. I suppose I could get a drone hub over here, because I'm going to need drone hub over here eventually anyway. So I guess it wouldn't be a huge problem to start working towards that. Uh, where is the actual dome here going to go? Probably here and... I don't know, so you have to know exactly where the dome's going to be in order to do this, right? Okay, so this dome's going to have to go basically on this corner. And then here, here. So yeah, the, the drone hub can go there. I just need to make sure there's at least a little bit of an overlap with the other one. Yeah, right there should be fine. And you are higher priority than this. And given you're right beside it, that should be obvious to it anyway, but that's fine. You will need electronics and metals. That's fine. Metals, we already had electronics, can migrate there. Not a problem. Okay, passengers. Uh, it doesn't really matter which pad you land at. Off you go. Dust repulsion, thank you very much. Now, I don't have to actually click something for that, right? That's just something you do? Yes, that's just something you do. Perfect. New colonists have arrived. Well, they should all run into here, and then from there, I'm assuming at least some of them, well, maybe not any of them, really. I assume I would have seen some of them then take the passage and go somewhere else, but well, I guess they just want to work here. Okay. Well, either way, more people is good people. <laughs> well, you're idle anyway, so why don't I get you helping out here? I can find you a spot where there's some metals that we're going to want anyway. There, there's a bunch here apparently. Right there. So if I tell you to go ahead and transport those, but bring them here, that should make it very obvious that their purpose in life is for here. Right? Food stocks are looking really good. Clearly I've gone a little overboard on farms. But that's fine, because that will let us do those forestation buildings much easier if I can get some seeds going. The greenhouse gas building, I of course, need these fuel refineries to be going, and they are. They're 
doing pretty well, so. We refuel rockets very, very quickly, and that's good. Or at least in terms of fuel, obviously the exports not so much, but. So maybe I think I just go and get them now, I guess. Go get them. Okay, so you brought all those metals over. And none of them went in here, even though it's higher priority. You still just put them in the pipes. Okay, good to uh, see that the priority system works for smashingly well. <laughs> anyway, apparently there's tons and tons and tons of metals over here. And it's not even really all that far. So that will help. I see that no electronics have made it down. Well, a couple have at least got to here. Maybe you have to be a bit closer to that, maybe. Still may not be quite close enough. Drive another inch that way. There, now you're definitely in range of both of these. Okay. So your guys can migrate stuff over now. Sector scanned. Nothing again, huh? We're not doing uh, real well in the old scans here. Yes, I know the commander is very busy. I would like very much to build the drone assembler, but I can't. Well, I mean, I guess I probably can, actually. I do have a decent amount, but this is going to take half of them right off the bat, so. Really can't. <laughs> So the electronics are finally migrating over. Research complete. There we go. So now I can finally build an actual electronics factory. Fantastic. Which I believe I said was going to come in here. So I'm going to want to leave this one open for a passage. And this can be in the electronics factory. Now there isn't really a chance that I'm going to be able to power this thing. I'm not going to be able to finish building it. But anyway. Actually, it only takes 10 power, apparently. How is a machine parts factory five times more difficult than an electronics factory? I don't get that, but anyway. <laughs> but yes, let us go ahead and get another rack of people. And again, I doubt severely there's any geniuses, but I really do like to check. But I can't imagine there are. They are very, very rare, obviously. But that's fine. And let's get some more electronics down so we can actually finish building this thing. And maybe something for... What's it take? Just... Okay. Pop some polymers, but mostly just electronics. Okay. Because I would like to get a sterling up as well, so... So we'll do, I guess, that and maybe one polymers. And again, we're broke, but that's all good. <laughs> I would definitely like to get a sterling up to pay for it in terms of power. That is not where I wanted that at all. Can we try that again, please? Thank you, mouse. <laughs> yes, I know I'm now low on like everything. I know. Okay, so two more electronics to migrate. I don't know where they are, but they're apparently not getting over here very well. Well, you probably took it here, right? Yeah, because it's closer. That makes sense. I should probably get some more stuff in the research queue, right? Ah, there we go. Those better storages. I do like those. And the scanning I do like. And just generally no-spec people are better. Yeah, these are all really good. And yeah, maybe just a generally useful one. Sure, why not? Okay. Alright, so let's get these guys landed. Sterling should be up very soon. Now oh, we ran out of polymers instantly. Probably because of these wind turbines that I upgraded. And even then, they're not all there, but that's fine. There you, go. you can touch down there, and then you can kind of just go wherever. There's plenty of spots that want you, so you can sort yourselves out however you like. Crop failure reported. Ooh, renegades, huh? Alright. 
So yes, once again, nobody was working there for most of the time, that's fine. So do I actually have one, or are you just kind of telling me about that? I'm assuming that's because I have one. Yes, I sure do. Somebody that works at my new electronics factory, and you're already a jerk. Very nice. Because you can't get good enough meals? What is this place doing? Let alone here. Yeah, no, meals should not be a problem. Oh, you live over there, but you work over here. And this place... Did I not give this place? I gave him a grocer. Did I not give him a diner? Yeah, I did. So how did you not get a prepared meal? What are you talking about? Wherever you went. See, you've decided to live there, yet work there, even though there are plenty of options to move here. Okay, you know what? You're just going to move here, then. There's no reason whatsoever you shouldn't just live here. Oh, now you won't let yourself be assigned. Oh, well, that's very nice. Okay, well clearly I need some decorations and stuff here to try and make things better. Well, let's have a nice inspirational statue of me. That's very important. <laughs> and a nice, what, maybe a pond or something? I just have to make sure I leave a spot over here completely empty. I don't think there's any real other services I can give you, right? You have an infirmary, diner. Well, I don't even have that yet, but I'm sure that's going to be a huge building. But yeah, maybe we just go... Uh, go security. Sector scan. Apparently that's a concrete heavy sector. That's a very big concrete deposit. Wow. There we go. Finally. Immediately you guys can get to work on all of this bit and this commander doesn't actually even need to be there anymore So you can just come over here. Where would I even want? Where do I have a lot of stuff that needs a lot of attention? I have no idea. Oh, here we go. Oh I see <laughs> Yeah, I really don't know what to do with this one. I Don't know I'm, all right how many religious ones do I even have? That's a... Uh, is that a perk or a quirk? Okay, I only have two. So... So losing... So basically either zero or one, depending on how it rounds. This would be fine. I don't like losing the standing, though, so... Oh, here we go. Now, I guess that means it will immediately take a couple of them right off the bat, but yeah, why don't we have a guru then? Sure, we are now going to be Church of the New Ark, apparently. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, you're still the only problematic one. And now we have... Oh, it wasn't even that many. Yeah, just a few. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. We can do that. So where then was this guru? I would have thought it would have pinned it. It's a quirk. No, we don't. I thought it said we gained a guru. Maybe I misread it. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Or maybe we gain them later. I don't know. Either way, it's fine. Okay, negative 20 power. That's not ideal. <laughs> Any chance we could finish this, please? That's not going to work very well for very long. And that negative four water is not helping either. Hello. What are you waiting on? Just one machine part to make its way over here. Okay. Well, machine parts are allowed. They are allowed all the way along the chain, right? Machine parts are allowed. Machine parts are allowed. They're just not actually getting... Okay, well what we'll do then is we will take the transport, we will load, 
your one machine part. And you only have the one, so it won't be difficult for it to figure out. <laughs> Congratulations. Come down here and unload that right there. Yes, I know the drones would do that on their own eventually, but we really need the water, so let's not mess about here. Well, you have people there this time, so I don't know why that one failed. Oh, probably because of water, right? There we go. And with that, we have water. We also have, like, no power. Would somebody please bring this man a polymer. Just one. That's all you gotta do. Oh, thank you for that. You can go away now, thank you. No, thank you, sir. That was not very nice. That was not very nice at all. I guess since you have the security station, you should grab any renegades, and they have to live here. They don't get any vote. They have to. Okay, so now, officially, you have to move to that other dome. I wonder if you actually will, or if you're just going to you know, continue to complain and not do anything. I don't know. Anyway, we are going to call things there for today, though, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really does help. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. See ya.